recording. Should be good. All right, so uh, I'm going to let the video kind of play here on the laptop and uh, two fifths volume. We need to turn it up. All right. Just going to kind of let the video roll here and uh, if you guys have some questions for. Oh, whoa. What do we have there for Cervenka? Nice do, bro. Looking good. <laughs> I hate to see what he comes back here with now. So what's up, Spence? How are things? This uh, this intro that's going right now, the the steady cam walking portion, uh, actually the, the whole intro was uh, shot and DP'd by a good friend of Dave and I's, uh, Ryan Taylor, who was also a, uh, an awesome photographer that uh, worked with us quite a bit throughout the project. Um, but this this was his work here, um, the Steadicam stuff. So the intro was a lot of fun to uh, to make for sure. I think Dave and Ryan would both agree with that. Probably the uh, the question I get most often is, uh, how did you get these guys to do this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I'm a pretty good salesman, but no, they did did an awesome job. This was uh, this was too much fun. <laughs> Dave does need a tan. So is video playing kind of choppy on your guys' end? Did Lyman enjoy the cabaret style scenes? Um, I won't say he exactly enjoyed them, um, which is why you kind of see him cameoing in, in only a few. This was his best performance here when he was sitting on the boat uh, doing the green screen stuff. Um, you know, it, this intro wasn't totally Lyman's deal, but hey, whatever. He had fun. We had fun. Just to actually talked to him about it uh, again yesterday, and it's one of my favorite scenes right there, the bird with the baby head. Nice. Greatest wakeboarding movie to date, Russ McD. Um, hey, I appreciate uh, appreciate that comment, man. Uh, I don't I don't know about that. Um, definitely strive to be, but got a little more work to to be the the greatest, I would think. Um, but I appreciate the comments and that you dug it. What up, Todd Feltman? Who was the hardest to get to do the intro? Um, I'm wondering why Dave isn't chiming in here either. Maybe I need to do something to get his audio. Um, probably the hardest, uh, unbelievably would, I would say be JD. It was, uh, up until pretty much the morning that we did the intro that <laughs> we didn't know if JD was going to be in or not. So, um, but after JD started doing it, he was definitely the easiest and probably had the most fun of all. All right, Dave should have audio now. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought too, but he definitely had fun once he got into it. You want to buy a waterproof housing for a Sony cam? Yeah, Joe, uh, Joe Umali came, all, traveled all the way to Nebraska to pick up uh, his first underwater housing from me. Sold it to him, I think, over eBay. You think the bunny in the background will make more appearances? You bet. Best $150 I ever spent right there on that, uh, that bunny outfit. We've been already putting it to put to use. Hey, Shell. What's up, girl? Right here, uh, we're watching uh, Dean Smith's intro section of the video. and This was the first time that, that I'd worked with Dean and... I tell you what, you know, between between Dave and I, 
Uh, and filming with him is, is, is awesome. The dude goes so big and just fun to be around. Um, you know, ooh, that right there. Maybe Dave can, can talk about that when he was live for that, that wipeout. Dave, you there? There's no place like Nebraska. That is, uh, that is right. I will, I will second that. Are you from Nebraska, Backflop? There's still an echo. Yeah, well, we do what we do here in Nebraska. <laughs> Johnson Lake, I uh, remember doing a, doing a contest out there about uh, four or five years ago. Podunk, Iowa is cool, yes. <laughs> hey, I see my wife and kids are online. What's up, guys? Be home soon. My wife and kids are at home right now, uh, waiting to to go to bed. So I need to be getting home here uh, after we're done with this. Dave, can you chime in? Jack's got. How is Nebraska right now? It's actually. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, just pulled the boat out actually and winterized it yesterday. Um, Dave is from San Francisco Bay Area. NorCal. I don't know why we can't hear you. Is your is your mic on, Dave? Yeah, I wish I didn't know what winter rising was. It was a bummer of a day because it was a sheet of glass when we pulled it out. Curtis Mathis VCR. I haven't heard that name for a while. Wasn't that uh, the brand that had like a unlimited warranty? They were around for a while. Dave, what's up? This isn't going to be any good if we have uh, Murray and those guys get on here and we can't hear. Guess we should, probably should have tested this out. Sorry, guys. Dave and Ronnie, who came up with the song at the uh, beginning of the show. Um, it's actually kind of a funny story. Uh, we were in the Philippines and... Uh, Ryan Taylor and I were down in the water shooting and it was uh, another cloudy rainy morning and uh, and we just started talking and uh, I don't know it's just, you know in random early morning conversations and you know I just I said to Ryan I was like you know what if we did a what if we did a musical for the video and you know Ryan knowing me you know he just kind of kind of rolled with it and we just started throwing bouncing some ideas off each other so that was pretty much the last day we were in the Philippines, so we had a 34-hour plane ride on the way back to uh, actually talk about this random idea. And all the riders just thought it was that, and uh, uh, that we were just, you know, just kind of talking about random stuff. Well, anyway, as soon as I got back, um, you know, I met with a guy that uh, is up in Omaha, and he's he's done some some production work for us, um, you know, at our uh, at Schaefer's where I've. Uh, my full-time gig and anyway um, took the concept to him and he he wrote the actual uh, soundtrack did the the musical part of it and um, myself with some help from Sean Murray wrote the words to the song uh, what you hear and uh, yeah it was just kind of bo uh, born from that 
Why the hell did the hot girl with the baby stroller end up... Oh, Travis Moy's in the house. What up, brother? <laughs> she was in there. Just uh, got caught, uh, cut um, a little too quick. But much love goes out to Kristen Moy for letting us borrow that stroller and coming down there, uh, you know, during, during work hours to, to help us film that part of the intro. Thanks for stopping by there, Trav. Tech geek. Yeah, I am, uh, I am the Moy's official tech geek. Uh, about the only time they, they ever call is when they need something, can't get their computer to boot up or whatnot. Even giving a shout out to Mr. Credenza there in the TV. I see uh, Ryan Taylor's in the house talking about Ladasha. <laughs> Love you, T. Dave, can you talk yet? This is really getting annoying. Are these episodes recorded so we can watch them later? I hope so. I did hit the record button as per Mo. Speaking of Maurice here from Stoke Meter, um, I was talking to Murray and Lyman the other day because I, you know, I just met Maurice over the phone here about a week or two ago, and you know, I had to, I had to ask Sean and Keith, you know, if if this guy was for real. I mean, if any of you guys know Maurice out there, uh, he is a hundred percent on. I mean, this guy is like the happiest, nicest dude you will ever meet. I mean, there's Definitely a reason why his website is called Stoke Meter, because this dude is stoked on life. So, Maurice, word, thanks for uh, giving us the capability to get out there and talk to everyone, man. Thanks, Timo. Oh, we got Zach Renner in the house. What's up, buddy? Everybody giving uh, shout outs to old Maurice there. Like seriously, this is such a cool concept, what we can do with this, you know, this whole Stoke meter thing and, you know, the Ustream. I'm really excited about, you know, what, what the future holds of being able to do something like this. You know, I could definitely see, you know, for future productions, being able to do a lot of B-roll stuff and, you know, keep everybody posted on how the production's going and yeah, pretty cool. Where are you right now? I'm sitting in my office. This is, uh, this is my office here. I'm stoked for the Blu-ray. What can you tell us about it? Uh, I can tell you that there's a reason why other people haven't done Blu-ray. <laughs> um, it was definitely not the easiest to master, but once got everything, uh, got everything dialed in, it, uh, it's awesome. Um, the Blu-ray, I mean, just being able to see everything in high definition, I mean, that was the whole concept with the movie from, from day one, was just being able to show wakeboarding like we see it, you know, with, with our own eyes. So yeah, Blu-ray, if you guys have a Blu-ray player, get in a Blu-ray player, definitely check out um, Global Warning on Blu-ray for sure. If you guys have read the uh, scrolling thing at the top of the screen, um, we're actually doing for this hour that this is online, if anybody gets on to gw-movie.com and orders the Blu-ray or DVD, uh, we are selling them for 15 bucks for the DVD and 20 bucks for a Blu-ray, so can't uh, beat that with a wooden stick. What camera did we use for the Blu-ray footy? Uh, we used all the same camera for everything. Um, we shot with Panasonic HVX 200s, and uh, and then in Mexico, mine took a drink, so I ended up having to get a new camera and got the Panasonic HPX 170. So yeah, the the whole movie was shot with. Panasonic cams. What was it like in the Philippines? And it's a ridiculous cool price for the films. It is a ridiculous cool price. Lab, um, hope to see uh, hope to see a PayPal transaction come through. <laughs> um, Philippines were awesome. You know, other than the travel going over to the Philippines. 
um, you know, but once we got there, I mean, seriously, it's a wakeboarding mecca, you know, and not actually not even just wakeboarding, just, uh, you know, a little skate park that I could skate every day and, you know, cable park. So, you know, even, you know, Ryan and I got to ride quite a bit, uh, boat lake. So, I mean, super cool setup the Gov's got over there. So much love goes out to those guys, uh, Ruben and Anna for, you know, putting us up out there and definitely the Gov. How'd you guys like Filipino food? Well, I tell you what, I ate uh, fettuccine Alfredo every day um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I really didn't venture out because some of that stuff scared me. Who do you think is the best rider you shot with? Don't dodge it, answer it. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be PC on that one. I mean, I, I like filming with everybody. Everybody's got their own unique style. Um, you know, probably one of my favorite riders to, to watch ride a wakeboard was, was in the movie. Um, you know, and that's, that's Keith Lyman, but, uh, you know, everybody, everybody's got a totally different style and super fun to hang with and shoot and whatever. Uh, you know, Rathy was, was great to, to film just because, I mean, that kid was, learning new stuff you know basically every time we shot he'd get on the phone and be like dude you got to get down here i just learned this so you know it, it it's hard to pick just one but you know i'll definitely go on record saying keith lyman's probably one of my favorite writers to wo uh, watch any fun stories from the ring side i don't uh, necessarily know what the ring side is um well, Spence giving old Ryan Taylor a, a, a shout out there. You know, Ryan, Ryan's online. He's the guy I was talking about earlier that um, DP'd the intro for us, the walking scene, and, as well as the, the musical. So, Rob and Brenda. Got some family. Hardington's in the house. Everybody, uh, I, I need to, to get up there and pick up this quarter side of beef you got waiting for me up there. What's up, Millers? There we got Dave. Dave, what was your favorite part of the Philippines? And since you don't have audio, um, you know, maybe you can chime in over text. I still can't figure this audio thing out. Sorry. Next time you're in Cali, I'll cook some good Filipino food for you and Dave. That sounds good to me. I, uh, like I said, I didn't really venture out on the Filipino food, but it, the fettuccine Alfredo was pretty good. Oh, you guys can hear Dave? Like I said, I didn't really venture out on the Filipino food, but the fettuccine Alfredo was pretty good. Oh, you guys can hear Dave? Cool. So Dave, you, you have anything you can chime in over here? Or maybe you have been. I just haven't been able to hear it because my volume was down. Hey, the message board is blowing up. It's awesome to see so many people out on here. So Dave, do you have anything you can chime in over here? Or maybe you have been. I just haven't been able to hear it because my volume was down. Are you BFFs now? <laughs> um, you know, there there was times when then when we loved each other and times when we hated each other. But uh, yeah, I'd say. Are you BFFs now? <laughs> uh, you know, there there was times when then when we loved each other and times when we hated each other. 
Sam, we appreciate the order, man. Thank you. And it just came through. Oh, it's actually that's actually Sam Manzito. What up, Sam Manzito? Oh, Travis is reminding me of the old booth app that I just found on iPhone. If any of you guys have iPhones, check out old booth. Um, you know, it's one of those where you take a picture of a guy and you can make yourself look like you're from the 70s or pretty cool stuff. Had to plaster Facebook with that thing. Thanks to Zach Renner, who was on here earlier, uh, told me about that app. Rob wanted to catch his bearded clam comment. When are you going to make your fishing movie in the gray sweats? <laughs> oh, Rob. Love you. <laughs> there we go, Renner. How did you get the screen on your computer and Dave's face on television? This is nuts. Uh, modern technology. Modern technology. No, it's actually pretty easy. Tell us about the beef in Nebraska. Any good? Well, it's one of the only things that we're known for other than that and, uh, and Nebraska football. So uh, beef's pretty good. And Rob and Brenda that are on here right now have a quarter side of beef waiting for me. So I'm... Can't wait to, to tear into that bad boy. Thanks, Spence. Pump up the volume. Who's RLR? Does that happen to be my sister? Box, that you? Meat equals freezer. There's my wife reminding me that we need a freezer for that meat. Keep that Nebraska football quiet. What are you talking about? We're looking good this year. What a co-host. Tell about the great deals at Schaefer's. <laughs> nice. Riley, thanks for coming out, man. Oh, looks like Murray's on. Hey, uh, Sean, just uh, go ahead and hit that join as co-host. We'll bring in Sean Murray to kind of talk about filming for his part. Hey, uh, Sean, just uh, go ahead and hit that join as co-host. We'll bring in Sean Murray to kind of talk about filming for his part. How do you decide on a storyboard and writer order during a video? Do you create a tempo with tricks? Hey, Corey, what's going on, man? Um, you know, as far as the riders and stuff go for the video, I mean, it's basically just, you know, guys that I've met over the years and, and hooked up with or, you know, Facebook and said, hey, you want to be a part of the project? Uh, you know, I owe a lot of that definitely to old Travis Moy, who's on here. He got me, uh, you know, hooked up with a lot of these guys over the years. So thanks, Timo. We got Marla Alberts is uh, in the house. Oh, well, Kyle Alberts' mom. What's happening? Never hear from Kyle anymore. Kyle's in love. Sean, you gonna click uh, join as co-host and come on here? I'll move Dave down to the corner. Kyle's in California. Yeah, Kyle's in California right now uh, doing some stuff with, uh, with Step Up Productions. Kyle's from Nebraska as well. I think he's doing some NASCAR out there in California. I recognize the bunny suit. Yeah, you'll be seeing that bunny suit pop up all over. Will you send me a free copy of Global Warning for free? Um, you used free twice, so I tell you what I can do. I will send you a free copy and charge $15 for shipping. Does that work? <laughs> Sorry, John. How much is the regular price DVD tonight? $15. 
and 20 bucks for the Blu-ray. So seriously, it's an awesome deal, but it's only orders that come through in the next hour, so we've got about a half hour to go with that. So definitely jump on gw-movie.com and pick up a copy of the movie. I mean, that's the movie that's playing actually right now on the laptop screen in front of you. So super fun movie to make for both Dave and I. And you know, if you if you guys do have a Blu-ray player and HD TV, gotta check out the, you know check it out in high def because it looks awesome. Yeah. Um, ooh, that's a good point. Um, if you buy the movies now, I will. Um, I'll just refund money back. I did not change that. Thank you for bringing that up to me. Dang it! Thought I had all the bases covered. So backflop. Uh, thanks for bringing that to my attention. So you will see a charge for that, but then I will credit back. Promise. We got Rathy's section playing on the screen right now, you guys. If if you haven't seen that, I mean, trick for trick, it's it's an awesome section. I mean, there's. The only trick that's that's repeated throughout the whole video is a toe back seven, and that's just because it's a toe back seven. Um, awesome section, super fun to shoot and make. I could watch an entire section of Tobac 7s. I agree. And Rathy just like blew up this year. I mean, from. Oh, I'll let Dave talk here. Well, Dave's working on the chick flick too, I heard. As far as a music supervisor, Dave and I, Dave and I played music supervisor on this video. Murdog, where you at? See right there where you can click join as co-host. Who is a better filmer, you or Dave? I'm going to say Dave. No, actually, Dave, I mean, that's why I partnered with Dave, because, I mean, he's... He's an amazing cinematographer. I, I learned a lot from Dave over the course of the production, for sure. Like how to build a cable cam? So where is old Sean Murray at? PC or Mac, uh, you know my answer to that, Trav. Definitely uh, PC. I still, uh, still can't keep my Mac to not crash. I'm surprised it's gone this long without crashing, so there you go, Mac. I'm the guy that finds all the stuff out that all the Mac owners out there never tell you. Dave, we need to figure out when we're going to talk so we don't talk over each other. What's your favorite place to eat sushi in Orlando? Um, that's a good question because every time uh, I'm in Orlando, I definitely have to meet up with the Moys and go out and eat some sushi. I, I prefer Nona Sushi, which is just right down the street from their place. Go out and 
I don't have a headset, Todd. Sorry. <laughs> Well, Todd saying what up to the Moys. And little Ella. Is Ella around out there too? Travis and Kristen's beautiful baby girl. I don't know what happened to, to old Sean Murray. He said he was here. And Dave just shut himself off, too, it looks like. They do make sushi with beef here in Nebraska. Um, they do have a Nebraska roll. It's a little steak. She's in bed. <laughs> Screw the headphones, put on the bunny head. Like, this this bunny suit here was probably the, the best investment I've I've ever made. Um, you know, it's good, good, clean fun. The kids love it. And I know uh, we're going to have some good Easter's. Halloween's going to be pretty fun in the bunny suit. And we're doing a lot of stuff here uh, actually at, at work with, with the bunny suit. So you're, you're going to see the bunny suit around for a while. Well, looks like some, a uh, couple orders are running, uh, coming across now. We got Russ. Russ just ordered a copy from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. This is Russ McDonough. Actually, he's been, I think this is the guy he just uh, Facebooked me not too long ago, said he was stoked on the movie. So, Russ, thanks, man. I thought you already had it, though. Do you have to enter anything to get the discounted price? No, um, I apologize. I didn't make a new line item for it, so you're actually going to pay the prices that it says. And I, for the, for the one hour... Um, that these came in, the orders come in, I will go through and credit back your account. I apologize, I forgot to do that. Oh, right on, Russ. Getting a copy on Blu-ray. You, you guys got to check this out on Blu-ray. Seriously, Blu-ray, if you guys aren't familiar with Blu-ray, I mean, I don't know why you'd be going out buying DVDs anymore. You'd, you have to, have to watch movies on Blu-ray to, to really appreciate them at their best. Is that Lloyd Murray we have in the house? That's Lloyd. He was he was part of the uh, the bunny filming when we shot with shot Sean uh, doing those Rayleys in the bunny suit. That was uh, that was a, that was a lot of fun. I I seriously can't believe Sean pulled that one off. Um, you know, especially the way he did. Um, he pulled over some kid that was riding behind Jerry Nunn's boat, getting a lesson from Jerry, and uh, basically, t you know, asked Jerry if he'd drive, and the kid just sat in the water while Jerry jumped in the boat and drove for Sean. It was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. But to, to watch him do, uh, to watch him do a, a Rayleigh in that bunny suit, I mean, <laughs> it was awesome. Um, and then taking the bunny suit off, uh, it weighed about 150 pounds in water once, once he got back in the boat. Shipping that thing back uh, on the plane was pretty funny, too. It was, it was just soaked. And then taking it to the dry cleaners the next day. So, yeah, good times with that bunny suit. What's the process like in getting the Blu-ray together compared to a DVD? Well, um, it's a pretty lengthy process. That's why, uh, that's why those that pre-ordered it know, uh, found out that it came out about a month and a half after the DVD copy. Um, there was a lot of licensing things that, that I didn't know about. Um, and, uh, you know, authoring programs you just can't use. Um, you know, any, we were using Adobe Encore to to master the, uh, um, to burn the, the DVD disc, and it also said that it did Blu-ray. However, it's just for personal use and doesn't include um, one of the licensing keys, so we had to find a guy, um, Jason Gilbert, that had a $30,000 uh, set up to, uh, to get it done for us, so thanks, Jason, if you're out there. Well, my dad's online right now saying that, uh, you know, we can, uh, <laughs> we can hook everybody up with 199 Blu-ray. Yeah, Blu-ray is under 200 bucks, and it's, still, and it's only coming down. So seriously, you guys, if you, if you don't have Blu-ray, check it out, because it, it makes even your, your whole DVD library look that much better, too, when you plug it in. So. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a pretty stringent process for Blu-ray. But now that I know, um, I know. So I, ho I hope to see other titles coming out. You know, I know Kilgus is working on Defy right now, which looks amazing. I mean, the cinematography I've seen there looks amazing. I'm hoping he, he does, puts that out on Blu-ray, or at least will burn me a personal copy that I can check out. Who goes larger, Lyman or Smith? Um, yeah, it's, it's tough to say. They, they're, they're two different style of writers, even though they both go big. Um, you know, Lyman hasn't really gone Lyman big for a while since he blew his knee, but in talking to him, I guess he's, he's back going big again. So I can't wait to, I can't wait to see that. So I, I talked to him the other day and we're going to, we're going to start filming again here in November. So looking forward to that. Who would win in a film off, you or Kilgus? Again, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to make any claims there. Um, I've definitely seen Kilgus do some, some pretty awesome stuff. Trav, what are you trying to stir the pot here for? Love you. Oh, my son's on right now and asking where Rathy is. Aaron is uh, is Tyson's idol. Break dance fighting, you or Murray? Well, if anybody that's checked out, for those of you that have the movie, has everybody checked out the uh, the Easter egg that we hid in the movie with with Murray dan doing the break dance in the bunny suit? Murray, how do I get in the video chat? Hit join it. Look, look underneath Dave. You'll see join as co-host. Click on that, and I'll I'll put you on. Well, Todd's throwing out Ronnie cuts rug. Ronnie's getting too old to cut rug. Back in the day. Ten plus ten times ten plus ten. Wouldn't that be one hundred and ten? No, two hundred and ten. Whoop. See, I'm not quick enough, Lloyd. Kyle said Tyson is killing it. Yeah, Kyle uh, came out when he was in town the other day and got to got to watch my six-year-old Tyson. Uh, got to watch him ride. Um, yeah, he's doing he's doing really well. He's jumping the wake and he's killing it, loving it. Oh, we got Jonathan Abenroth. Guys, waiting to see an up-and-coming little ripper. This kid's from Nebraska. He's on right now. He's a sandbagger, but good kid. I'm, I'm sure his dad's out there too. What up, Pat? Hey, mom. What's happening? I oh, got another order there. Thank you, Marla. What do you need another copy for? <laughs> How did you get your six-year-old to ride? I have a five-year-old that won't even try. Well, he started riding when he was four, actually, and we decided just not to push him into it. And, I mean, he gets to, you know, he sees all of us riding all the time and the guys that come out, and, I mean, that's basically been a part of his life. So, um, yeah, he just, he wanted to. All right, so it looks like Murray's here. So... Hold on a sec. There we got Murray. We're going to move Dave down in the corner here. And... Figure out Sean. So it looks like Sean's online. But I can't seem to move him. And there's his volume. Sean, you there? I can't move you down the TV screen. Jeff, send uh, hit join his co-host. We'll get you on. 
Everybody's starting to show up now. Jeff Weatherall, just click uh, join as co-host. We'll get you on here. Jeff, send uh, hit join as co-host. We'll get you on. Everybody's starting to show up now. <laughs> uh, he's promoting a, a, a not so great website there <laughs> that was kind of the story of New Zealand uh, he's promoting a, a, a not so great website there that was kind of the story of New Zealand So Sean, you got audio? Has everybody checked out Sean's show, I'm sure, on here at, on Stoke Meter? He's got a pretty classic setup he's been doing for the last uh, couple weeks. Hey Sean, you want to talk a little bit about filming for Global Warning? Murray's, uh, Murray's audio is cranked. I think it's on his end. Sean, turn your volume up a bit. There's so much going on right now. Yes, this is a ADD dream going on right now. Good thing I medicated well tonight. Jeff, are you going to send this uh, co-host request? Just click on join as a co-host. Let's get you on here. See if we can make this thing freak out. Ooh, Dave with the After Effects. Jeff, are you going to send this uh, co-host request? Click on join as a co-host. Let's get you on here. See if we can make this thing freak out. Ooh, Dave with the After Effects. <laughs> What's your poo telling you? <laughs> Do you got your you got your volume up there, Sean? Scott Byerly, one, please. Scott Byerly, one. <laughs> Scott Byerly. No, that wasn't Scott Byerly, line one. Uh, what happened to Dave? Too many technical things going on right now. I hope you guys aren't too bored with this. I know I'm having some fun. It's pretty hot under these lights, though, huh? Murray, how do you do this every week? I hope you guys aren't too bored with this. I know I'm having some fun. It's pretty hot under these lights, though, huh? Murray, how do you do this every week? 
like to go out. Murray, how do you do this every week? I don't know. I hope you guys can hear, Sean. I can't. How long does the deal last for the DVD? Uh, about another 15 minutes. I don't know. I hope you guys can hear, Sean. I can't. How long All right, good. The deal for the DVD? Uh, about another Looks like Sean's going to play some guitar for us. There we go. Let's spice this up a bit. We hear you. Brian Taylor wants to hear the intro acoustic. Having fun, going big. Having fun, going big. Oh, the footage playing right now. Oh, watch this KGB Sean does. About dies. This is all unseen footage that's playing right now. Oh, the footage playing right now. Oh, watch this KGB Sean does. Oh, that was delayed. Oh, Sean just got kicked off. Yeah, but the footage is playing in my laptop. This is uh, this is Sean. This is a couple of the shots because he did more than one Rayleigh that you see in the video. So here's a couple of them from when we filmed that. Looks like it's going back to... My dad's asking why didn't I uh, show him how to get or get him up on a board a couple summers ago. Oh, it's actually my mom. Yeah, my mom tried to get up a couple summers ago. I'll get you up anytime. She did awesome. I wish Blu-ray worked on a regular DVD player. Well, DVDs actually work on a Blu-ray player, so seriously, David, pick one up. Blu-ray is awesome. Looks like we're going to have the walking, uh, the intro here again. So, again, Ryan Taylor, who's on here, was the, the DP for, for this part of the video. Did an awesome job. And, Actually, Jeff, it says that you're on here, but I don't see, I just see your name. If there's no picture. Oh, wait, never mind. There you go. Let's see. Actually, Jeff, it says that you're on here, but I don't see, I just see your name. There's no picture. Oh, wait, never mind. There you go. Still no picture. Note to self. Stoke meter chat session would be much cooler if it was a half hour. <laughs> Sell the dude a Blu-ray player. I'll pay the freight. David, the guy looking for a Blu-ray player, if you want one, 
We will sell you one and ship it free. We got the deals coming from the big guy right now. <laughs> David, the guy looking for a Blu-ray player. If you want one, we will sell you one and ship it free. We got the deals coming from the big guy right now. For those that haven't seen the intro. Dave, do you still have audio? For those that haven't seen the intro. Dave, do you still have audio? See, there's Sean. Thanks, David. We appreciate that. Thanks, David. We appreciate that. Well, Sean's on here, but for some reason I can't get the picture to come back up. Must be too much going on. Pushing the stoke meter limits here tonight. Looks like we can only do one. Dave, I like your intense lighting down there. Dave, I like your intense lighting down there. I gotta bring you back front and center. Two hundred and forty three people. Says that we've got forty to me. Lab, where are you seeing that? Two hundred and forty three people. Says that we've got forty to me. Dave is ghost like. It's Max Headroom. Cool. Yeah, it's really hot in here. Uh, this was a bad idea. I don't know how Sean did road in that thing. That was crazy. Yeah, it's really hot in here. Uh, this was a bad idea. I don't know how Sean did road in that thing. Thanks, Spence. I, I personally like the pink nose. Oh, Mike Schmidt must be online. I see an order came through. Yes, what up, Mike and Whitney? Nice. Oh, Mike Schmidt must be online. I see an order came through. Oh, nice. Up, Thanks, Joe. Figuring this thing out yet. Well, good times on here. Dave, you want to chime in anything here? I'll back on with Dean. Just giant backside 180s. That dude just puts himself on the line. If you guys have seen the crash section, like Dean is just nuts. I mean, it's it's basically his second section is that crash section, but it just gives you an idea how hard that dude charges it. It's so fun to film. Yeah, David, I'll send you out some stickers for sure, man. 
Dean was uh, messed up pretty bad. I actually didn't get a film that Dave shot that up in the Delta, but I guess he was pretty looped. Did Dean get any concussions? Not that I know of, um, but I'm, I mean, he had to have been concussed after that because that, that looked pretty bad. Pretty bad. What up, Mike Schmidt? Oh. My kids are on their way to bed. They're at home. Sounds good, Corey. Let me know when that happens out there in San Diego. You know I'm out there. Had a lot of fun doing the Blu-ray premiere. Corey uh, and Todd and the guys from uh, Wakeboard San Diego out there put on a, an awesome event for us when we did the, uh, the Blu-ray premiere out there in San Diego. And old Jeff Weather all came out for it. And uh, I mean, then we had a couple hundred people. It was super fun. Super good setup they had there. Cheap drinks. Better parent, Ronnie or Dave? I will pass that to myself. You know, we were using the video chat quite a bit, you know, to, to talk to our kids when we're off in places like the Philippines and actually not Mexico because we didn't have internet. Oh, yeah, we did. Speaking of Mexico, huge props go out to Wake World Dave for uh, putting that together for us. Great ape, yeah. <laughs> Old Dave Williams. Fun dude. Great ape, yeah. Old Dave Williams. All right. Well, uh, looks like we're about nine o'clock, and uh, I don't know if, unless anybody has any other questions or just want to, you know, hear me talk some more. But I appreciate everybody that stopped by here. Two hundred and fifty some people. So, cool. Thank you for supporting the videos. Um, you know, whatever we do here in the future from both Dave and I, um, you know, thanks again. Um, you know, we hope to uh, we hope to have something to give you guys here here in the near future. And uh, I'll, I'll I'll leave it up for another ten minutes or so if anybody wants to order the video. So thank you that ordered it tonight. Um, thanks for coming out. Oh wait a second, we got Jeff saying we got to do another one. Yes, we do have to do another one. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely down for another one as long as we can get a budget. Um, so, yeah, I'm basing my whole career in retirement on our next vid. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I'm going to say the same thing. <laughs> and I think Dave can agree. No one says that the show has to end at one hour. Well, I guess if you want to sit here and keep chatting... Yo. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and set the alarm. Thanks, man. Bye. Wow, they're closing up shop here. Don't put all your eggs in one pink sock. Yeah, I'm here at the office. Pink sock. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff had to bring that one up. For those of you that... Uh, you know, no Jeff, um, super good dude, awesome rider, but he's the guy that, that put together a whole New Zealand trip for us, and I mean, it was it was amazing, and I can th think I can speak on behalf of Dave and our wives, and everything. I mean, that was the funnest trip. I mean, I for sure want to go back there and shoot again and vacation and whatnot. Um, you know, so Jeff, huge props to you, man. Yeah, he's saying sorry about the weather. The weather, uh, the weather kind of sucked, but we got, you know, we got some sunshine for a couple of days. I mean, the shots that we got, you guys see in the video, are they're pretty epic. So yeah, I definitely hope to be be back there and doing another trip with with Jeff over there. Not sorry about the eel in Rathy's boot, which is a pretty funny story. Um, I probably won't get into right now because I'd I'd want Rathy here to be able to defend himself. <laughs> Ninjas or pirates? I'm gonna go with ninja.
ideas for the next Blu-ray release include raw footage of writing for amateur editors to play with. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about that, but, uh, you know, we, there's, it's always an option. Hey, can you tell I've been in the office after I was looking for Nebraska tickets with you and Todd? Remember? Yes, I do remember that night, Todd. Good time, man. <laughs> Cindered your toast. He did? I didn't hear about that. What did he do? Explain that, Jeff. Is there a number of copies that have been sold so far? Do you mean uh, tonight or uh, overall? <laughs> there you go, Dave. Way to put a sense of urgency. Overall, um, it's hard to say how many copies. Uh, I will say that um, the economy definitely still is even affecting this business. Um, you, know, you, know, you see shops pulling back orders and, and things like that. So um, we're, we're definitely selling some movies, but we could be selling some more. So, you know, whatever you guys can do to help us get the word out on Global Warning, um, you know, because it, it was pretty much a whole guerrilla marketing, you know, type deal anyway so whatever you guys can do uh, you know email people facebook people twitter it whatever um, you know just help us get the word out because you know we we definitely enjoyed making it the writers enjoyed making it um, but in order for us to keep doing this as independent producers um, you know we we need some sales coming in um, and i think i think dave would agree on that for sure Yeah, and if you if you're shy, if your local shop if they're not selling it, you know definitely talk to them. Um, we're distributing through Sideways and Video Action Sports, so um, definitely have them talk to them. Uh, you know, Blu-ray Blu-ray hasn't really taken off the way that we wanted it to, so we've got a lot of Blu-rays. So you know, let's let's definitely start pushing that. And I think now that you know they're getting under two hundred and one hundred and fifty dollars by Christmas, you know we'll be seeing uh, the Blu-ray copies flying off the shelves. Because once you guys seriously once you see it in HD, it lo it looks awesome. My favorite trick in the video goes to you. Nose grab, batting the blind, or whatever the hell that was. Oh, he's talking to talking to Jeff there. Yeah, for sure. Online videos are the new Blu-ray. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think you could be right. You could be onto something there, David. Um, you know, I think with the next production uh, that I do, I definitely have to take that in consideration because you know all the the ways to get in instant videos out there now with. Twitter and you know uh, all this stuff like you know John's doing with the Wake Place, which is awesome. You know, giving these guys a platform to get their names out there. Um, you know, it's great, and it's it's just definitely evolving the the video industry. And once once the bandwidth is there to do HD a little bit better, um, you know, I definitely think I'm going to have to agree with you on that. That video, online videos are the new Blu-ray. Yeah, Ryan Taylor said he's uh, working on a new trick out there. What was that, an osmosis fashion air you're doing there, Ryan? Can you hook up with Netflix? I mean, as good as that sounds, I actually only buy, you know, five or ten copies and, and rent the thing out. So, um, you know, it's good to get the name out there, I guess, but, you know, it, it's not as big as you would think. Can you see Murray's nose hair in HD? Um, yes, and he, you know, he actually cl uh, plucked it a couple times, I believe, right in the lens. I, I have the shot too. Murray's still on here. What's up, buddy? So you guys, uh, I hope you're all stopping back to to Murray's show. What he's doing on Thursday nights is pretty hilarious. I've caught a couple of those shows, and uh, he's definitely taking it to another level. It reminds me a lot of like the Captain Casey show you see on Fuel. Is Captain Casey still on there? Um, but anyway, yeah, Murray, you know, huge props to him for what he's doing there. Have you played a DVD on a Blu-ray player? Uh, yes, I've played a DVD on a Blu-ray player. They, uh, they will up-convert your DVD to, uh, 
to 1080p um, if you've got a 1080p TV. Um, you know, up converted still isn't um, you know as as good as the actual footage, but it, it looks better than your standard 480p stuff. So um, seriously, David, Blu-ray's a ticket. You got to check it out, man. That's what we're here for, David. I don't know what happened to Cervank. Oh, he's back. What about the mu what about the musical, Murray? You know, for those for those of you that don't know, I mean, Sean Murray was the one who made the musical happen. Um, you know, with, without him and the guys, you know, seeing him doing it and having so fun, so much fun. You know, that's that's what really sold those guys. But you know, they they did an awesome job. You know, you know, everybody was worried. You know, like, hey, don't make me look bad or whatever. We don't want to look queer. But you know, the way they sold it was, you know, hey, we're just a bunch of dudes that like to have fun that ride wakeboards really, really well. How about the video cover with Lidberg that nearly went to print? Oh, that actually wasn't the video cover. It was a postcard for the premiere. Um, and and uh, Lidberg had something hanging out the front um, that we, we call Hanging Brain. And uh, it actually got sent to, to print. Um, and then I, I noticed it a little bit. And we still had time to catch it. I tried tagging some cardboard for a backdrop for your show. Hey, I'll, I'll help you with your set, Murray. See what we got going on here. We, we, we can have some fun with that. Spence, later, man. Thanks for stopping by, brother. I hope, uh, hope to be seeing you soon. Keep me posted on anything going on. Tried buying the yeah the, the if you get online it's actually still the same prices if you if you buy it then I will credit back uh, the difference I forgot to change that sorry about that Jeff. And thanks to everybody that, that ordered tonight that that's awesome we appreciate it. Huge props out to Maurice for letting us put this together too, man. Thank you for, for giving Dave and I a voice here and letting us do this. No, I'm just happy to see you, Sean. Huge props out to Maurice for letting us put this together too, man. Thank you for Oh yeah, Jerry Nunn. Um, his garage was what was the backdrop for the whole intro. So thank you, Jerry and Christy, for letting us do that. It was so much fun setting that up. It was basically a couple nights of Dave and Ryan and I just you know not not sleeping and putting together some random ideas. Good times. Jeff, you're taking off, man. Thanks for stopping by. Wish uh, sorry couldn't get you on. Technical difficulties. How was it collaborating with DPC? I think the question would actually be, Han, uh, how was it collaborating with me? Um, no, Dave was was awesome to work with. It was it was so fun to be able to work on a project where you know where we both you know could bounce ideas off each other. If I'd get stuck on something, Dave gets stuck on something. Um, you know, it was, it was good to do it together. But you know, there definitely was some some head button that went on too. Looks like I'm getting a call out for some break. If I had some cardboard here, Sean, I'd be I'd be breaking all over. But you know, unfortunately, I'm in a little office. Uh, yeah. Oh, Todd's wanting to see the the, the robot. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. <laughs> Who won the headbutting? Uh, I don't know. I'll let Dave answer that one. When will you get a confirmation email? Um, I'll, I'll answer all those emails as soon as we get off here. I can't multitask very well. Sorry, David. But I do appreciate your order.
I do appreciate you there. Well, it looks like uh, looks like we're dropping some viewers, so I think I think that's about time to to call this an evening because we're we're about twenty minutes past our hour anyway. But thanks again to everybody that that uh, that stopped by and supported the film, and yeah, hope to uh, be talking to you guys soon. Dave, you got anything else you want to say? Murray, Ryan, Spence, Dave, Jeff, you know, thanks for, for coming out. Thanks for the help with the video. Maurice, huge props, buddy. You got a good thing going here. This is super fun. Hopefully we can figure something out and do this again, figure out a way to get uh, more than two or three people on. We can push the limits of your system here. See you guys. Thank you. Peace.